they brought her to a man. And that man did a very interesting thing. He said to the crowd that were gathered around her, let anybody here who is without sin cast the first stone at her. It was an amazing thing to say that's gone down in history and right across the world as a saying that we recognize. Who was that man? His name was Jesus. Those that were there that wanted to condemn this woman realized and were shown up that inside their hearts they were rotten and evil. They said and thought and did all kinds of things that meant that they couldn't cast a stone at anybody else. And so they shuffled away off into the darkness to continue to hide and nurse those evil desires. This man, having written on the ground, stood up and said to the woman, where are those that would condemn you? Is there anybody? And she said, there's nobody left. Now, of course, this man had never done anything wrong. He had never said or thought or done anything wrong at all. He could, in justice and in righteousness, have cast a stone at her. He could have come into the world to condemn the world and would have been perfectly entitled to do that. The woman would have had nothing to say by way of response. There's no court of appeal. There's no way of appealing his decision. But what did he say? He simply said, neither do I condemn you. And then said to her, go and sin no more. Jesus Christ is the savior of the world. He has not come into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world. The world stands condemned already. We are already condemned because of our sins. Jesus has come to save us. Today, allow him to take away your sins, to bring you into his family, and hear him saying to you, go and sin no more. You don't any longer need to be involved in inappropriate or destructive or negative and harmful relationships. You don't need to seek things that are bad and destructive. No, you can turn away from all that's wrong, all that's sinful, and turn to Jesus and feel him setting you free to live this day and every day for him.